All right, so today we are gonna put the chimney in the oven. As you can see, we've blocked up the hole with some wood, and then we've got a piece of cardboard here, and I'll just go to the top so you can see what it looks like. So we've blocked that up, and what we're gonna do is take our stainless steel flue, pop that in, and then we're gonna put heat proof mortar around the mix, uh, sorry, around the pipe. So once the chimney is in place like this, there's a small, small enough gap for us to um, ram some, uh, we're actually gonna use heat proof mortar and we're gonna ram it down in the gaps all the way around. And then after that's set, we're gonna put a copper flashing all the way around and rivet it on, well copper or tin, we haven't decided yet. And that will stop the uh, flue from moving down because it's quite heavy and um, there's not much mix going in there. So hopefully that will uh, stop it from moving down. So this is our heat proof mortar. As you can see, it's quite a thick consistency. We don't want to get it too runny because we don't want it to run down the gaps. So from here, we're going to try to shove it down the edges of that gap between the pipe and the oven as evenly as we can. So LJ at the moment is really carefully trying to put this mix down without getting too much on the stainless steel flue. And we're just trying to fill the gaps. We've tried to level it up vertically this way and vertically from the side, although it's tilted back a bit, so we'll sort that. That's good about there, I reckon. And from here, we're just gonna just try to shove down and shove as much of this mix in as possible to fill this gap. It's setting. Yeah. Okay, just try to shove it in the gap. So as you can see, El just done a great job here, shoving the mix down, and we can tell it's just coming, just beginning to come down the cardboard now. So we know it's getting to the bottom of the uh, the gap. It's already beginning to set. So once this is set up, we're going to rivet a flashing all the way round, and that will hopefully stop the weight of the flue falling down. Great job, mate. Well done. As always, if you've got any questions or feedback about this project, uh, leave some uh, suggestions or comments in the uh, comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe because we're going to be lighting this bad boy up and cooking some pizzas next week.